Okay, so welcome. What I want to do is show you how to determine where the ang what quadrant, I'm sorry, the angle is in. So to do that, what I did is I created a, a little document or a little quadrant of Cartesian coordinate up here. And what I would do if I were you, if you don't already have this written down, is write this down. It's a good aid to kind of remember um, when we're going to be talking about radians and also quadrants. So when we first learned about the Cartesian coordinate system, we learned this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And Usually, you know, that was with x and y axes and so forth. Well, we still have our x and y axes, but now what we're going to do is we're actually going to give these measurements, all right, in dealing with a, in trigonometry, where we're actually going to have measurements from our, our initial side. So the measurement from our initial side is going to be pi over 2. So from 0 to pi over 2 is going to be quadrant 2. From pi over 2 to pi is going to be quadrant 2. From pi to uh, three pi over three pi over two is going to be quadrant three, and th for three pi over two to pi over, or back to two pi is going to be quadrant four. So that means as long as our angle, if if we create an angle and it's between these two uh, measurements, then it's going to be in quadrant one. So let's take a look at the first one, which I did not write on the board, so I got to write down in my notes. I have eleven pi over eight. So to determine where 11 pi over 8 is, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work through how we can represent this um, and so forth. So let's look at if 11 pi was over 8, so if it was between 11 pi over 8 would be, uh, let's see, that would be 8 pi over 8, right? And if I was going to do 3 pi over 8, that would be 12 pi over 8. So what we can do is we can determine that 11 pi over 8, and the way that I got that, ladies and gentlemen, also the 12 pi over 8. I'm um, sorry, that's not right. Um, let's see, times 3, so that's going to be 16. Uh, 16, so that's 8, 12, 4. Yeah, that was right. Silly me. OK, so what we have here is 8 pi over 8, and then here's 12 pi over 8. So Here's 16 pi over 8. So what I did is I related these because 2 pi is the same thing as 16, divide, 16 pi divided by 8. Because take 16, 16 divided by 8 and you get 2 pi. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times pi is pi. So you can see how I relate it. So I changed my quadrant angles so I could relate them into my denominator 8. Then I easily see that 11 pi over 8 is going to be in quadrant 3. So you could say that this answer for here is going to be quadrant 3. So there you go. That's how you determine the quadrant of an angle in standard form. Thanks.